I'm often asked by people what they can use in a low maintenance garden that'll give them good colour year round. So rather than giving out a list, here's a demonstration. And you know, you don't need a big garden to have year round colour and texture. G'day fellas. Morning, G. I've got a really good idea for this small front garden. It'll be low maintenance and no fuss, but I think you're going to love it. Well, our homeowner, Nicole, did say she wanted something different. I hope you're ready because we've got something very dramatic for you. I can't wait. It's going so to be excited. a garden full of succulents. Fantastic. It's like my dream garden. That's good. I'm glad you <laughs> like succulents because we've got heaps of them coming. I can't wait. Terrific. I'll see you later and I'm about to go and make you a cake. Well... There's no denying these agaves are doing well, but they're way too big. Nicole took some cuttings from a giant clump in the backyard. It's taking over the backyard. I don't want it to take over the front yard. This little fella will keep, and the Kalankari will keep this as well. It's looking OK. And as for the grass, well, it wasn't doing too badly, but Nicole would like it gone, so we're turfing it out. Right, OK. Now, we've got a clean slate. The plan is we've got a pathway, a nice curved pathway coming through here. That path will give access from the car to the front door. And this pathway here will give access to get the garbage bins out to the street. If you're one of those people that think that cacti and succulents will grow anywhere, well, you're partly right. But if you improve the soil, they'll grow even better. So here we're going for a bit of a combo. We've got garden mix. Thanks, Craig. Compost. Compost we're mixing in and some coarse river sand, making a nice blend. But we've got a lot of low-growing succulents close to the ground. If it rains, they'll get really wet feet and they could rot. So we're going to mound the soil up. Good drainage. Everyone's happy. Right, OK. Now, the taller plantings we've got are some really dramatic cacti. Philosocerus, a beautiful blue, the bright green of the cirrus and the yellow down the front here, yeah, it's a barrel cactus. Beautiful drama, really architectural plants. Our little ground cover plants are really interesting. This is Echeveria. Don't you love the little rosettes and the colour? Look at Sedum Gold Mound. Beautiful thing. Interesting, throughout the year, as the sun changes its intensity, the colour goes from lime green to gold and then yellow. Beaut plant. And colour again, blue chalk sticks. Always good. These are great ground covers. Love this little fella. This is an Aeonium. You actually can get some purple leaf ones, but the variegated one makes it nice and bright in this part of the garden. So, popping those in. And then, of course, you can't beat the cotyledons. They're really large, fleshy leaves with a little red margin around the outside. They're greys, greens, variegations, permanent colour all year round. To bring this dry garden together, give it a bit of desert look, we're mulching with gravel. And just finishing off the pathways with some deco granite, which will quickly compact over time. Whoop. Whoa! Hey, cake. And... Oh, never mind the cake. Look at this. It's like my dream garden. Oh, you brought my dream come true. So much better than what you had before. Well, I think that goes without saying. Yeah. It was pretty bad before. So low maintenance. All I have to do is pull a few weeds out now. And yeah, like absolutely. The boys are over there with their tongues hanging out. Come and get some cake. <laughs> I think you've earned it. They have earned you it. Go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's what happens. Well, well the good thing right. is, we're going to leave you the garden. That's all right. They can have all the cake they want. <laughs> That's good. It's just incredible. And I just love it. <laughs>